Welcome back here at ABC 7 at noon. It's heating up out there. We've had a few hundred degree days and staying safe in the heat. Certainly a concern. Joining us now, Dr. Blake Busey with Texas Tech Physicians of El Paso. Dr. Busey, we've been talking here a little bit about exercising in the past, but now you add heat in there. It could get a little dangerous outside. Absolutely. Heat-related injuries are one of those things that we saw all the time um, back in the in the military. Uh, you know, you go outside, if it's humid, if it's a uh, very high heat index, what we call wet bulb temperature, um, the risk of having a heat-related injury goes up quite a bit. Luckily, we're in dry heat here, right. <laughs> which uh, makes it a lot easier to stay hydrated. Um, ultimately, if you're going to be exercising, I like to exercise when it's dark outside. I already have the motivation to go and get the exercise, but at least it's not as hot. It, it, that's a good point. You want to avoid those, the, the, really the sun uh, during the hottest time of the day just kind of zaps not only your energy, but then it, like you said, if you're not properly hydrating, that's when you run into those problems. Correct. And there's all range of uh, problems you can have. You can have heat stroke, you can have heat exhaustion. Um, some people can get uh, like heat related injury to the point where their muscles start to break down. Mm -hmm. um, you can get kidney injury. Um, all that is uh, avoidable and uh, not desirable absolutely so some uh do you have any tips for example to maybe avoid if you have to go outside i know for me i get off work at an odd time i have to be out during the hottest time of the day uh light colored clothing i know some uh, so certainly a option for people Sure, there's all types of products out there that help people manage the heat. So whether that be some type of, uh, well, number one, make sure you're wearing sunscreen because again, we're in the sun city. You don't want to get uh, <laughs> any, any yeah. cancers. But in addition to that, wearing things that shade you from the sun, decreasing your, your direct sun exposure, uh, hats, um, different types of water wicking um, garments that help you manage the, the perspiration a little bit better, um, ensuring that you have some type of hydration system with you. I, I know for me, I don't get thirsty in the first part of my exercise when I'm out there, but as I get thirsty, like having a frozen, uh, frozen backpack or something like that, that it's slowly melting and I can drink cold water and it helps decrease my core temp. All right, Dr. Busey, thank you very much. Some great advice right there.